Tony, we've had a bit of a vacation from the oppressive heat and humidity we were dealing with last week. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was a beautiful weekend, of course, and, and even today, not too bad, though the clouds have rolled back in and uh, no precipitation, though it's an unsettled week ahead, specifically tomorrow, Wednesday and on into Thursday, unsettled, meaning each of those days has scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast and at times briefly heavy. All right, the clouds have moved in, but otherwise quiet. I think you've got plans to be out over the next several hours outside of an isolated shower. There's, there's not much out there. I think the better chance of any showers or thunderstorms would be after midnight and towards a tomorrow morning. Humidity is back. I mean, we can't have completely dry every day. It's summertime. It's it's humid. And you can see the dew points are back up in the upper 60s to around 70 in Providence. So there's there's a mugginess in the air and this will act as fuel to support at times some downpours and thunderstorms. This isn't something where you're waking up and it's just nonstop every day. Each day features different times of the day and, and coverage wise would be scattered, but the chance is there uh, right on through Thursday. All right, we take a look at the temperatures. Hopefully we can get there and you can see temps now upper 70s to around 80 in Providence. Most areas now in the lower 80s, uh, upper 70s in Newport and Narragansett now checking in at 78. So the humidity is back. Unsettled skies ahead, meaning uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, scattered showers and thunderstorms. The trade off though, much nicer weather by Friday and the weekend. Threat tracker is low for this evening. We'll keep it elevated for tomorrow. Scattered showers and thunderstorms at times and there'll be some brief heavy downpours, especially during the early morning may cause some localized brief uh, street flooding and one wild card in the forecast as to whether or not some of these thunderstorms could produce any damaging wind is something that we're going to keep an eye on. They would be scattered. Uh, same situation for Wednesday. That risk is there for showers and thunderstorms, some heavy at times. Cloud streaming in. You got a couple of isolated showers over the border in Connecticut. Nothing really significant or widespread. But the more generous precipitation off to our south and west and this is headed our way. This stationary front draped to our south has just kind of waves of moisture or low pressure areas along at the first one arriving overnight into tomorrow morning. Another one to take over on Wednesday with more showers and thunder. So you see the two surges of moisture. The first coming in during the overnight hours two in the morning while we're sleeping into the morning commute tomorrow 7 8 a.m. Get into a bit of a lull during the afternoon. I think the coverage is not is widespread though I wouldn't rule out a shower tomorrow afternoon and then there you go round two kind of reloads itself for Wednesday morning and into Wednesday afternoon heavy at times and this is what we mean by uh, unsettled to get in real close forecast well first of all the one area that we're watching closely especially areas to the south tomorrow morning showers and thunderstorms could be some localized brief uh, street flooding some of these storms may be strong so that's just something we're going to keep a close eye on in the meantime quiet for this evening and then over Overnight tonight and towards tomorrow morning, shower and thunderstorm chances increasing. This is seven o'clock in the morning. Notice, especially to the south, these blips of red indicating some maybe some quick downpours and a strong thunderstorm. We actually get into a bit of a lull during the afternoon. Some partial sunshine. I wouldn't rule out a little pop up shower later tomorrow afternoon. Just think most of the time there's not much in the way of widespread rain the second half of the day tomorrow, but keep an eye to the sky. But bottom line, the better chance would be tomorrow morning, especially very early, actually pre dawn on like three, four, five, six, seven o'clock in the morning. And then during the afternoon, partial sunshine with a passing shower. But uh, most of the time it should be uh, rain free the second half of the day, but unsettled both Wednesday and Thursday back on track with nice weather Friday and just in time for the weekend. Kayla. All right, Tony, thank you. More coverage you can count.